Morning, Jetty Rockers. Welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well, we're out here today. I got Mama and I got Summer. And our plan is to go shark fishing. But just like the other day, this wind's kind of messing us up, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully it won't be too bad. It seems like it's just a nice little south wind. Hopefully we'll be able to get off right outside the inlet, right off the beach and catch some sharks because the sharks have been biting good lately. So that's what the plan is. And hopefully we'll do all right. Wish us luck. We're just off the beach. Today we're gonna to be using big old black mullet for bait. We got that from Donald's Bait and Tackle right there at the foot of the uh, Port Orange Bridge. You guys go check them out. It's great tackle shops where I buy all my stuff from them. All of my bait, always from there. Good, pe good people, known them for a long time and they'll take care of y'all. So we're gonna set up, get these lines out. Just kind of recover from going through that inlet because that inlet was nasty. I thought mama was going to have a heart attack. So I'm going to get set up and we'll start fishing. All right, this is what we got, guys. This is a chunk of mullet. I got about a seven knot circle hook. We got about two foot of steel leader. This is number five wire. And we're going to free line this one. Yesterday, when we were out here shark fishing, the free line did way better than the uh, bottom bait did but we did hook up on both and some days the bottom baits better some days the free lines better so we will see all right we got both lines out we got a bottom bait we got our free line we're using cut mullet today cut big mullet and summer's over here trying to catch us some live whiting which is my favorite bait for sharks these smaller sharks absolute favorite bait all right summer's hooked up i was actually just reeling this in we were going to leave and all of a sudden the line started peeling off. I wasn't even ready. I actually had my camera up. Uh, we done hooked one. Let's see what we got here. And it was on the free line. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Yeah, you, you still got him. Can't uh, see anything. It's sun. Yeah, I know. Well, you got him, babe. It is rough out here, y'all. It is rough, rough, rough out here. What is it? Sharp nose? Keep, keep, keep reeling. It's sharp nose. All right. It's, it's a decent size one. Gotcha. All right, we got one. Stop it. These things are strong, y'all. Where my pliers at? Stop it. Stop. Yeah, I'll find them for me. I got it, I got it. Open the box. All right, we got one. High five, Summer. All right, I'll put one more bait out. Maybe we'll get another one.
summer got soaked in that little uh, venture, but we made it through it. That inlet ain't no joke, y'all. No joke at all. Outgoing tide, that inlet can be kind of squirrely and kind of dangerous. Look at summer, she is soaked. All right, y'all, well, we made it back in, and that was crazy. I didn't film us going out the inlet because I wasn't expecting the inlet to be that way, so I didn't have the camera ready. But going out, it was absolutely insane. We took a lot of water over the bow. Amber thought we were gonna <laughs> we were gonna sink. She was screaming and crying. It was nasty getting out the inlet. We went out to the shark spot. It was all right, but then it gradually got worse and worse and got rougher and rougher. So I wanted to stay out there a couple hours, let that inlet calm down. But we only stayed out like 30 minutes. So turn around, come back in, and going through the inlet. Wasn't as bad as it was coming out, but it was still real sketchy. So if you guys are coming through that pond inlet, always beware on the outgoing tide with any amount of wind. If we have an east wind at all, which we had a, a southeast wind today, an outgoing tide, that inlet can get nasty. So make y'all make sure y'all are aware of that. And when you're going out the inlet, if you're not confident, don't go through it. All right, well, we got a nice little Atlantic sharp nose. This is a good size sharp nose. It's almost full grown, not quite full grown. They get, that's a little bit bigger, maybe about a foot bigger, a little bit bigger around, but this is a pretty good size sharp nose. So I'm a, I've showed you guys before how I clean them. I'm gonna real quick go through it. I don't gut my sharks beforehand. I'm just gonna come through, make an incision. You need know, a really sharp knife, and I use Dexter Russell's. I've had this knife right here, this particular knife I've had for over 20 years. So it's a really good knife. Come along that cartilage, which they don't have backbones. There's no bones in sharks. They only have cartilage. And just gonna come along, run it along. Just like that. We got a really nice good fillet all right we got our two shark fillets right here and what i like to do is get it started push down on the skin and you want to stay up a little bit from the skin sometimes you get caught up on these things right here here we go get the skin down you want to stay up a little bit so you leave all that dark meat on the skin so when you're done you just got really nice white meat and what you got left with is a really nice shark fillet. I take this belly portion off. Just like that. Just like that. And then you have steaks you can put on the grill. Or you can also fry it. Whatever you want to do with it. It's really good. And it's awesome. Cut this off right here. In my opinion, this is some of the best meat you can get. It does not taste fishy. It ain't like other fish. It has a real meaty texture like a steak or chicken. And Atlantic sharp nose and black nose are very plentiful. So they're a, nat they're a good resource. They're not subject to overfishing like some of the larger sharks are. So don't be afraid to go out there and catch some and keep some for your family because it is definitely worth it. Don't believe everything you hear on the Discovery Channel and everything you hear on the news that sharks are depleting and we're killing all the sharks in the water. That is not true. There are some sharks that are endangered, yes, but there is many, many species of sharks out there, hundreds of species of sharks. And these smaller coastal sharks, there's plenty of them. You're not gonna overfish them. There are good regulations on them. They're managed very well. And you can go out there and catch your guys some meal, some, some good fillets for a good meal without even need to worry about it. All right, guys, we are outside here by the grill. I soaked my shark steaks and teriyaki sauce i'll show you the brand here in a minute but now the grill's up to temperature i also got some corn on here and some portobello mushroom caps and we're just going to put these shark steaks right here on the grill just like that 
The shark does not take very long to cook, two or three minutes, and they'll pretty much be done. I mean, you can see they're not super thick shark steaks. All right. That's gonna be pretty good right there, y'all. Oh yeah. All right, this is stuff I marinated in. Just a KC Masterpiece Honey Teriyaki. Really good stuff. And with shark, this is absolutely amazing, y'all. And I let it soak in, in the teriyaki for about, I'd say probably about two hours. Oh man. That already looks awesome. Oh yeah. And shark holds up on the grill really well, guys, as you can see. It doesn't usually stick because it has more of a, a chicken, pork, and beef texture than it does fish. So it holds up really, really well. I'll turn my mushrooms here too. Oh yeah. It's gonna be good right here, y'all. Good stuff. Ooh, boy. All right, it's been about four minutes, so the shark is definitely done. So I'm gonna show you what I do here is I take, a, take the shark off. Ooh. Lay it in here. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look awesome, y'all. All right. So now what I do is I put a little bit of the teriyaki on it. Just like that. I'm going to brush that in. Oh, man. I mean, that doesn't look absolutely delicious, y'all. All right. And that's it. It's ready to eat. But I still got all this to cook. All right, y'all. My shark is done. My mushrooms and my corn. Ooh, this is going to be good. So I'm going to do the taste test for y'all real quick. Take a piece right here. I'm just going to cut it open for you. You can see the texture of it. It's just like chicken or pork. I mean, it's not a fish texture and it tastes, tastes nothing like fish. It does not have a fishy taste to it whatsoever, but it is going to be good. That might be a little bit too big for me. All righty. Look at that. All righty. Wow. There is nothing, nothing else out there like shark at all. It is absolutely phenomenal. If you take care of it right and you prepare it right, it's amazing. It's one of my absolute favorite fish to eat. It probably is my favorite fish to eat if you want to consider shark a fish, but it tastes nothing like fish. It don't have a fish texture. It don't taste like fish. It tastes nothing like it whatsoever. It's more like, like I said, eating chicken, beef, or pork. But make sure when you catch your sharks, you keep them cold. You get them on ice as soon as you can. You keep them very cold. A lot of people do like to gut their sharks immediately. You can do that. It does not hurt the meat, but wherever you're fishing, if you put the guts in the water, and you bleed the shark in the water, you will kill that area for that species of shark forever. I have areas that people went in and did that and I can, I don't catch sharks there anymore at all. Areas that I've fished for most of my life and now they're dead because somebody gutted the shark there. If you're gonna gut them, keep it in a bucket or something and dump the guts somewhere else. That's one thing I can tell you to do. But you can either gut them or if you don't gut them like I don't gut them, just put them on ice, keep them extremely cold, Bring them home, clean them, and you'll have no problem. No bad taste whatsoever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. And 
I appreciate each and every one of you guys very much. And thank you y'all for sticking around and being a part of this channel and just supporting this channel like you guys have throughout the years. I really appreciate it. My whole family appreciates it. Until we see y'all again, Thailand's J Rockers, seeing y'all real soon.